This is week five of The Apprentice. Last week, in week four, they had to sell, manufacture and sell an electric bike. And Lubna was the one who was fired. First ever female to be fired. And last week, that Alan Sugar, at the end of the task, went over to the house and basically he told the teams that they had to have an early night because they were going to go around to Cambridge and Oxford and buy in products, nine items, at the cheapest possible price. So week five then begun with the candidates waking up, setting off to Oxford and Cambridge. The teams were mixed up. Again, they had to balance up the teams because... Um, the team of six, um, the team of seven beat the team of six last, w that week before, last week, and, um, that meant, um, that because one had to go, that meant it would have been seven five, so, instead of just putting one person from the team of seven to the team of five, making it six six, they actually moved two members from the team of seven to the team of five, and then one member to the team of, from the team of five to the team of seven. Aisha and Dean swapped with Ryan. And as Thomas and Ryan hadn't won tasks and they were on the separate team, that means that one of them would have a fifth loss. And because Aisha um, had, m had moved over um, and because Aisha, um, Aisha, I'm trying to think of the name, Aisha, Gemma, Lynn, Pamela and Karina all won four tasks each, that meant that basically, um, um, and Aisha moved over to the other team, that meant that one of them or three of them would win five times. So, yeah, quite... Yeah, so this, this is going to be very interesting. So they had the nine products to buy uh, at the cheapest possible prices. On the losing team, the team leader was Gemlin, along with Karina, Ryan Mark, Ryan as the sub-team leader, Lewis and Pamela. On the winning team was, um, the team leader was Marianne, Along with, um, who is the other one? Fuck it out. Um, sorry, bear with me. Um, Scarlet, Aisha, Lottie is the sub team leader, Dean, and Thomas. Excuse me. Um, so there was nine products. One of them was a toad, which the sub-team of the losing team was looking for. That was Ryan, Lewis and Pamela. And they, and Karen even said to Gemlin that she, it was because they couldn't find the toad because it was vodka. And they were so obsessed that the vodka was bread. And Lord Sugar criticised Karina because she's a bakery, a bakist. And they all laughed at the toad, thinking that they were actually going to buy a toad. It was like the octopus last year in Malta with Rick. Last year, Rick 2018, he bought a an octopus leg, thinking it was a a hose pipe or something like that. And that was like, yeah, it was just so. And then funny. And then Lewis sent the picture of. Um, a bit later on after The Apprentice on Twitter, after the episode was broadcasted, of him, Ryan and Pamela laughing, saying, like, laughing about Lottie when she can't negotiate things. The other one, um, yeah, so they had an Alice in Wonderland book, a, oh, it had to be the 1940s one, and... I remember Gemmelin and Lottie argued over the fact that it's very important that you know your grandparents and how I'm born in the year. And then they tried to keep knowledge of senior relatives. And they were even thinking about parents, like 
they're born like 80s, 90s, so some of the parents would be born like, I don't know, yeah, it'll probably be born like 50s, 60s or something like that, but grandparents as well, and they're trying to think about the war, and like the bookshop owner, the one who, with the Alice in Wonderland book, they look like he was born in 1940, no, he was actually born like, he was a writer in the 1940s, yeah, it had to be an Alice in Wonderland copy, and, they, and one of the subteams just kept going in at the same time, banging in, yeah, you know, so many times until they got it. And also with the rows, um, Ryan Mark bought the row, the canoe, the rowboat, and um, yeah, and then um, he did a very good, and he was like, I love your row, like all like that, he was like, I love your row. And then there was Thomas who did a, a gamble and Lottie was not happy with the gamble. And then they had to buy eggs and apples, which they both negotiated from a farm, both sub-teams. And then, and then they bought a rod and then they bought... There were so many nine items, I can't remember some of them. And then one was a university hat. Because half was negotiating in Oxford, half was negotiating in Cambridge, and like... Yeah, but some of it was so funny running around in London, basically because... Gemmelin, Karina and Ryan Mark ran one way and then ran the other way laughing. Then, um... Then, the, on the sub-team, on that team, it was... Ryan, Lewis and Pamela running, and then Lewis's shoe fell off, and like... And then, and because um, he was in between, like, Pamela was running right ahead and Ryan was running right behind. So Pamela tried to turn back and it was like, no, Pamela, hop, trying to hop because he's trying to get out, trying to hop, like, you know, carry on walking. And then it's like, um, don't run back. Just carry on running. I'll... And then Ryan went up and picked the shoe and he was like, oh, thank you, Ryan. That was like, that was the other funny bit. And then it was also like, the dead heat in the negotiation task, basically, um, they were one foot on the other sides of the road from each other, so Gemlin, Karina and Ryan Mark were on one side, and then Lottie, Thomas and Dean were on the other, and so, and they were, and then the first Gemlin side was running on the right side, so they had to run right into the gate, they were able to run whereas for the Lottie side had to run right across the road. It was like, you know, and they, it was just such a dead heat between them, t them lot. And, yeah, and I mean... So, um... Uh... And then the winning team actually had to... Alan Sugar even asked them to tell them what the... Vodka, what the toad was, and that was the vodka, but Gemlin was so obsessed with like what Karen said, that the vodka was bread. And so the winning teams, um, the winning team was Marianne's team, and Anna Sugar says that America's always a step behind. But they've got like the big apple, they've got, they're like, you know, if you go into New York, that is basically, they look like they're 20 decades, 30 decades, 40 decades into the future. Same with Japan. I mean, the Tokyo high-speed bullet train. I mean, that looks like um, this year... That looks like a this-decade project, the high-speed bullet train. But instead, like, you know, it was designed in the 50s and 60s. So, in a way, Japan, in that sort of sense as well, is quite speedy in its way. And, um, so the winning teams was Gemlins, and they actually, for their tree, they were learning to row, which was, you know, quite funny, because they had to have, because the women couldn't row, it had to be Thomas and Dean having to help them as the two strong men. <laughs> um... Then, right, and Thomas had his first ever victory, so that was a good thing. And Ryan had had his fifth loss. 
and Gemmelin as the project manager brought Ryan Mark and Ryan back to the boardroom. Um, which I think, because the, for the losing team, um, I think it's very important that the people who get fired are the ones who didn't buy anything on the negotiation task. Here we have, we've got, um, we have um, Ryan Mark who bought a product, Gemlin who brought a product, Ryan who bought a product, Lewis who brought a product, Karina bought nothing, Pamela bought nothing. So, in my opinion, either Karina or Pamela have to go. But Gemlin bought Ryan, Mark and Ryan, which I thought was unfair considering the fact that those were the three who actually bought something, while Gemlin decided that she would let two out of three many ca out of three candidates um, who didn't buy anything, well, she let three candidates off and two of the, those candidates didn't actually buy anything. So I think that, you know, because Ryan was fired um, and I didn't think that was fair. I thought that, well, really, the people who did deserve to go was either Karina or Pamela, but the fact that Gemlin bought, like, the wrong people, um, it probably would be fair that Gemlin had been fired just for basically bringing Ryan, Mark or, and Ryan back into the boardroom instead of Karina and Pamela. And even Pamela admitted that that was probably more fair that her or Karina went because they didn't buy anything and it was unfair that Gemmelin chose to bring Ryan, Mark and Ryan back into the boardroom and therefore Gemmelin should have gone for bringing those two back in, the, the two men instead of the two women. And Ryan was the first, is the first ever candidate who I actually disagree with just because he was on the losing team five times and actually four of the times the winning team's product in my opinion had always been better. They'd always been better. I think when you project managed, the toy was good. It just didn't on the toy task. The toy was good. It just did not aim at the specified market. And um, yeah, and I, and I think the only one, the winning one, was a uni was not a unisex one. I think you know. Um, I think you know that, and the turtle was a unisex one. So in a way, I think that really. It just shows that he only, he's only been, he's been very unlucky only other than the fifth task to actually be on a losing team. So that does implicate that he's lost by luck, really. So I don't agree in, with Ryan's, with Lord Sugar's decision to fire Ryan. That was a shock. Anyway, for next week, they have to design a roller coaster, the teams, and they have to pitch it to industry experts and it's a vote so the ones who get the most vote win so i will see you very soon goodbye